Oh, there you are, ghoulies. Oh, we're rolling right along here. And who, who do we got in the house but Brent Allen Cavuto. Caputo? Oh, you know, I'm having a lot of trouble today. I'm feeling a little tongue-tied. I think my tongue went to sleep. Yeah, i got to exercise it more, I guess. Anyway, uh, of course, you played Kenny in the Mark Gumbinger film, Mortuary Girls. And, uh, well, how was your entire uh, Mortuary Girl experience? Uh, being in Mortuary Girl experience. Yeah, well, you, you work very closely with uh, Kenosha's own Crystal Lees, I take it. Very closely, yes. You were kind of yes. shish kebab together in that role. Yes, we were. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so how, you know, how was it working on the film, and how, how is Mark as a director? Mark as a director is great. I'm, I'm used to hearing him about uh, being for the uh, for direct, um, documentaries for years. Uh -huh. you know? And when, when I heard he was doing this film, it was great to be able to, to work with him to know that he can do uh, big films as well. Right, yeah, it's a full-length feature. Yes. Get and, of course, the premiere was huge. Yes, yes, at the broad stop. If you missed out, you missed out on a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. Kenosha did miss out. It should have been a lot more people. We always want more of these things. But, more you better. know, the 5,000 that showed up was pretty good, wouldn't you say? 5,000, roughly. 5, yeah, roughly. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what else you got coming up for you in the um, uh, acting world? Well, for the, the, the horror genre, we're going to have the, called The Haunted, which is indicated in southeastern Wisconsin. And, uh, for the details are being worked out right now, and you know, we'll keep you posted. Oh, that you know. sounds great. So, uh, great. I know that I'm working on a script for Mortuary Girls, too. Oh, I, wow. I've got some ideas, but you know, <laughs> we'll have to run that by Mark. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll course, go ahead and make the picture on my all, my own and call it the Beyond the Valley of the Mortuary Girls. Beyond the Valley. Yeah. <laughs> if you could call Forest Park a valley, that is. <laughs> <laughs> great. Uh, all right. Great. Yeah. yeah. What about that hearse thing you were talking about earlier? Oh, uh, which, which one? The hearse of Palooza? There you go. Hearse of Palooza is coming up on <laughs> July, Friday the 13th at Hat Tricks with a, a bunch of bands are, are coming up. Uh, we haven't heard back from that band Path yet. You know, they won't answer my phone calls. We were going to invite them on, but, you know. Persistence is the key. I, so I suppose you're right there. <laughs> with the girls and more Troy girls. Yeah, persistent. Are, they're persistent. <laughs> they persi persistently don't show up to be on Crimson Theater. I'm telling so you, I'm telling you. Yeah, Crystal, you know. Yeah, uh, you know. Um, gotta love Crystal. <laughs> yeah, I do too, but she never shows up. She's always like, I'm coming over. Yeah, there you right. Go. <laughs> I had to go to her, and I look what happened. Yeah, I uh, know. You, you. you guys were quite a couple there. It's like uh, being stabbed in the back. No, I know. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Stabbed in the back by Victor, huh? Yep. <laughs> that won't be the first time. <laughs> At least it wasn't one of the girls that stabbed you in the back. Oh, thank the goodness. Common scenario. I might have walked away. <laughs> you might have walked away unscathed like yeah. I've so many times. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it, you got any uh, inspirational words for inspiring actors everywhere? Oh man, don't give up. And there's going to be lots of ups and downs. And then that's definitely a lot more downs than ups, but it's what you make of it. That's, that makes yeah, the, that's right. makes the difference. Don't give up. Yeah, that's a good, uh, good attitude. And so you've got some other projects coming up. Yes. And yes. Uh, you're a recent graduate as well? Yes, of Gateway Technical College. Yeah, yes. that was a wild graduation yes. party. I did happen to show up there, even though the sunlight was getting to me, I got to admit. Of course, of course, uh -huh. of course. But you didn't make it for uh, Mark Gumbinger's after bar party, after the uh, premiere. No, I had to rest up. I had to rest up. You, you're lucky, because I, you know, I was there too late, and when someone stepped on my tongue, and I woke up to see Mark dancing in his Speedo bikini briefs, up on the bar, dancing to the Mortuary Girl soundtrack music. I, I knew it was time for me to go. Did you run? I well, I couldn't really run. I, not in those <laughs> shoes, anyway. But uh, I had to get out of there. Let's just put it that way. Start the hearse before you get there. So uh -huh. you get nice, nice. Yep, yep. Good old Gumby. You never know. <laughs> never know. We never know what goes on inside of a man, do we? No. Sometimes we don't want to. Know. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, Dooley's, you better get right into it. Get right back. Fury of the Wolfman, <laughs> Dr. Destructions, Crimson Theater, <laughs> movie, movie, now! The movie.